Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. Have you realized that since you've been telling people that you've been diagnosed with cancer, that everybody wants to fix solve, fix solve, fix solve everything. It's almost like a manic response because people really don't know how to help. And I don't know about you, but Sometimes I just wanted to be hugged. I didn't want anybody to fix and solve my problems. I just needed somebody to listen or I needed someone to give me a hug. In the online wellness section of the New York Times, there was a recent article by Jan C. Dunn, a scientist, a major cancer scientist in New York actually sent me the link thinking that it would be a really interesting article or reference point for the podcast. And I said that I had actually already been thinking about this, but Jancy Dunn put it so beautifully. Basically, what she said is that people in general either want to be helped, heard, or hugged. I'm going to repeat that. People want to be helped, heard, or hugged. And that's my experience too. In the cancer universe, when that news comes down, people might never have been exposed to someone with cancer and they actually don't know what to do or say. So I think as the patient and or survivor, Our role is to train the people around us to be as supportive as possible. Now, the word train sounds so premeditated and strong, but they're trying to take their lead from us. Being a caregiver is not easy. I believe that it's harder than being the patient. And you'll hear me say that a lot. And I know you're probably going, there's no way I have to go through all this treatment, but I've done it all. And from my perspective, I believe the caregiver is the harder role. Back to Jan C. Dunn's story. So I feel that if we can very directly and very honestly say to our support circle, there are times that I need to be helped, there are times I need to be heard, and there are times I need to be hugged. And I'm hoping that you can intuit those but I'm really happy to tell you, I need a hug. I don't need you to solve anything for me right now. I just need to vent about my frustrations or about my fears. And I just need you to listen. You don't have to fix the situation. I just need you to listen. And sometimes you might say, I can't even explain what's bothering me. I just need you to give me a hug. And as you know, I started the Comedy Cures Foundation from my chemo chair. So sometimes I'm just going to ask you to laugh with me. I'm going to ask you to be my humor buddy. And I'm going to ask you to make an appointment to laugh with me. And I'm just going to want to watch a stand-up comedy routine with you or watch a funny movie or go to a comedy club or just reminisce about a funny experience that happened to us. And I have several episodes on humor buddies and making an appointment to laugh and the importance of humor while going through your cancer journey. But I think that the three H's are powerful. And if you can just write them down, put them in your phone, put them on your refrigerator in a post-it, It's a visual trigger to everyone just to hear you, hug you, and help you. But 
as you need, not as they want to impose because they just want to be active and helping you. Love that story. I'm grateful to the scientist for sharing it with me. Usually we talk about biomarkers and (laughs) genetic testing and immunology, but in this case, after being exposed to our charity and our patients in our program, he's starting to look at the whole cancer experience in a very different way. So I'm honored to share this with you coming from him with all his love and compassion and knowledge. Have a blessed day. And you know, I love when you go to my website, comedycures.org, and you share with me through our record button and you tell me your opinions and your strategies and you tell me how this works for you or you click on the write us button and you just let me know in writing if this helped you, how it helped you, and what change you saw. Have a blessed day. I'll see you tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this podcast, then I'd love to ask for you to go to comedycures.org and check out our membership circle levels. You will find even more resources and more programming like our live virtual Q&A sessions with me, our live Comedy Cures events with our very talented comedians, live health builder workshops with Jackie Bryan hosted by me, a robust monthly newsletter, plus much more. It's really an exciting community. So please consider becoming a member, giving it as a gift, telling your friends, telling your hospital support group all about this community. I can't think of a more empowering way to go through a cancer journey or your survivorship or your caregiving experience than with us at Beating Cancer Daily. It's truly an honor to serve you. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. guess what time it is. It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.